All right, people, let's talk about the Canon PowerShot G7X Mark III. So the G7X Mark III or the Canon PowerShot G7X Mark III, I'm just gonna call it the G7X Mark III, has a 20 megapixel stacked CMOS sensor which measures one inch diagonally. Now, in comparison to most point and shoot cameras, this is already a far bigger sensor. And I know what you're thinking, why don't I just get a high-end smartphone? We're gonna get there. Let's talk the specs first. So you have a one inch sensor with 20 megapixel resolution. You have a lens that goes from 24 millimeters to 100 millimeters with an aperture range of f1.8 to f2.8. Basically what that means is when you zoom into the 100 millimeter side of the lens, your aperture starts at f2.8, which is still pretty amazing because that allows you to shoot better photos at low light than most other point and shoot cameras, which generally tend to have an aperture of 5.6 at this focal length. There's also raw capture, of course, because this is a high-end uh, point-and-shoot camera, something that a lot of smartphones don't offer in this uh, range. Besides that, there's also the ability to shoot up to 8 frames per second in burst mode with focus tracking, which is pretty awesome because if you want to make sure that you're not missing any moments, especially for shooting fast-paced action, this is the way to go. You get 4K recording at 30 FPS, which is pretty standard in this range, and 1080p recording at 60 FPS. You can do 120 FPS slow motion, but in that there is no audio and there is no ability to change focus, unfortunately. Perhaps one of the most compelling reasons to consider G7X Mark III is its incredibly compact form factor. It's literally as thick as a standard wallet, which means it can slip in and out of your pocket super easily. It offers you a big sensor, a really versatile lens, which no smartphone on the planet right now offers. Now you may be thinking that with a smartphone, you can get images that are so amazing. You have HDR processing, multi-frame, all of that packed into one smartphone. So why would you need a point and shoot camera? But at the price, the G7X has a lot to offer as well. For starters, the quality of the raw image coming out of this camera is always going to be far superior to the smartphone. Yes, it requires processing, but if you're willing to put in the work, it will give you far better results than any smartphone. Even if you just end up shooting JPEG, the level of detail from the point and shoot camera will be better than that of a smartphone. Additionally, no smartphone right now gives you the flexibility while maintaining the quality of zoom. This is a true zoom lens, which goes from 24 millimeters all the way to 100, allowing you to select anything in between without any kind of quality loss or hit on the sensor's resolution. On a smartphone, that unfortunately is never the case. You're switching between lenses, switching between sensors, and there's always a lot of software trickery to make up for the loss in quality, which many times does not really work that well. So overall, a point and shoot camera like the G7X Mark III is great if you travel a lot, if you love taking photos just casually, and if you feel that your smartphone has not sort of been cutting it, and if you're willing to put in the work, the G7X Mark III could be a great choice for you. Thank you guys for watching this video and I'm gonna see you in the next one.